Predictions, guys, come on. We're going to do this. We have Apex versus Imperial, Grand Finals. I think they're ready to go. I think they're ready to go now. Oh, I, uh, oh they're doing the weapon swaps. So the first map is Mercy. Yeah, it is. So uh, what are you expecting to see from both teams and Mercy? Um, I, I, I think they're going to play it safe because I don't think, in my personal opinion, I don't think Digger is uh, as important as Sniper. Uh, I think the main uh, objective of this map is to get top control where Sniper is. Uh, once you get that balcony, if you keep it, I think it's pretty much game set. Yeah, I mean, you know, in the play we've seen earlier with Imperial and uh, Apex, Imperial are all about Lancers uh, yeah. at EGL London here. And um, there's been some heated uh, yeah, everyone, discussions um, about that. Everyone their hates them because they never pull out their Yeah, there's some, <laughs> some real trash talk on stage. So, uh, But Apex shut them down in, I believe, the semi-finals yeah. before we get here to the grand final. And they clawed their way back into the grand final through the loser's bracket. So, we're getting um, so they're playing right now for £1,250 for the winners. Yeah. Um, as well as Gears of War controllers each. Here we're getting hype now on the stage. And this is brought to you by our sponsors of Microsoft, Steel Series, Game.co.uk, and Gcon. So thank you all. And oh, let's not forget Calibre 11's Wingman. So a big shout out to all so our sponsors. Uh, point of view of reaction. Um, reaction, yeah, taking the 1v1 outside. Uh, reaction is known for being really, really reaction's good. Reaction taking a risk there, moving out to mid. Oh. Unfortunately, he didn't get We have three mans up the, uh, the tower. Reese is already talking smack there yeah. to the team. Apex want to go out of this gate strong. Reactions are trying to hold so they don't flank around. Oh, oh, Loco taking out Craze on the right. Imperial is down. Reese is taking out Now It's a 1v4 situation. Lancer this is what people punishing. don't like about this game because the Lancer is so strong. Yeah. It's very hard to clutch on this game. Well, you know, Reaction clutch. making use of that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, like you said, I haven't seen one major clutch this yeah, whole tournament. Yeah. So, uh, I, th I think I've seen like, one, which was from Ants, but that was just a uh, bad play from the other team, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we are going on to round two here. 1-0 out for Apex, kind of expected uh, yeah. going into this map. And uh, we're seeing, once again, reaction. We have a change of strats. We have a change of strats. vocal uh, player yeah. for uh, Apex, has to be said. And uh, he's pushing mid, trying to keep yeah. him off those nades. I think a uh, person's down from the uh, Imperial side. So reaction taking advantage there of a slow, slow, slow oh. response there yeah. from uh, Imperial. But making it absolutely waste of that grenade and power from to pin him in there. Oh, Fitzer, Fitzer with a double taking kill. Out two, jeez. Fitzer, again, must say he's arguably the fire best. Now he's <laughs> giving them so much crap already. If you can hear him, he's uh, he's just making sure that they realise that Apex are on form so and I nothing's changed. I think they've trapped, they've trapped two in the church. I think so. Uh, it's just a case they really need to be careful though, because the um, the entrances are so hollow. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. They're just I mean, going to try and angle them. Yeah, and you've also got to be aware of uh, right side corner shotgunning as well. I mean, that's something that these teams are going to look to do, being pinned in a 2v1. But yeah. thankfully on this left side, they're not able to do that yeah, uh, unless they definitely. left side their shotgun because they'll get lancered from the gates. As you can see, uh, they're actually trying to do that on the right-hand side. I'd actually be pushing on that left-hand side right now because they well, can't right side it properly. Right there. there goes. Going, see, yeah. a combination of lancer and shotgun. He's so got to be strong. four points. He's got to be four, four points. points. Definitely. He's going down. Oh, he's taking a oh, lot of damage. He's taking a lot of risk. They're pushing him with a shotgun. Four points on oh. reaction. Almost getting taken out there. Very close. Reaction Andy. trying to get those pop shots on him. Just trying to put the damage on him to make him weak and make him move. I think reaction was just looking for a down. They're there trying to push him from that. There. He has made him move. Unfortunately, whoever was at the gates has moved. And they're not going to shut him down just yet, but it's just a matter of time, surely, for Apex here. They're just trying to look for a very... Oh, oh, oh Gandhi down. There we go. Push reaction. And it looks like... Oh, oh we've no, we have the special execution going, going on. on. On Imperial. Uh, yeah. Apex trying to side out Imperial straight oh, away really, here. Yeah. Uh, the teabagging, the teabag's going on. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The, the main stage is getting quite high. So we got some two minute comments going on and yeah. zero kill. Apex oh, are walking into this like they've already won. It. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, we're in our series, it's best of six, and a, because these two teams have met before, Apex are actually already on a three zero. Yes, that's right. Yeah, three nil. They so I mean. There's a mountain to climb here for Imperial, and if Imperial don't take that out Mercy, they've got even more of a mountain to climb. So, 
And uh, we see Reaction trying to take down someone moving into the church on their side. Almost getting taken down. Smart use on the platform by Imperial uh, to try and get some crossfire going on right now. Imperial is just desperately trying to uh, keep them off tower. Oh, and then Brazil with the digger right there. He's getting crossed. Big time. He should four point down. Really. Yeah, definitely four point. But thankfully, uh, Imperial seem to be kind of getting some positions, setting up. And it looks like Apex are doing their usual thing. Yeah. You know, when Imperial set up, when they let, like basically want to come to them, yeah. Apex don't run at them. They find yeah. angles, they start pushing them, they force them out of those positions, then they push. They're a very smart Gears team that I haven't seen anyone really do anything Apex similar. are just keeping map, map control, and because they have the rounds, they don't really need to push them at all. Yeah, they definitely don't need to push. I mean, you know, when you're talking about a three, uh, there you go, spying. And you see the tagging system right position. there? The tagging system uh, is being quite useful for what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, and Asia. also they are talking and saying, you know, we heard when he uh, tagged him shouting sniper. So, yeah. you know, it is an extra thing to, to kind of point out for the uh, team. And it's very useful to kind of keep people aware. But unfortunately, they're not bothering to try and cross. Now they're trying to cross, yeah. but realizing that it's not really going to do much from there. Reaction taking control of the church. Uh, he's pushing through. He has the ink grenade, so um, maybe he's some, trying to get it. I'm seeing some wariness here. For me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If they, they, I don't think they want to give um, Imperial a chance to get one of their main power weapons down. So I That'd want to know really something. Bad. If you were in Imperial's position, you're three maps down. You have both power weapons. What would you be doing right now? Yeah. What would you be doing? I. This game's very lance dominant, so you can't really do a lot. To be honest. <laughs> You know what I'd be doing if, if I was in Imperial's position? And, uh, you know, I've played a lot of Gears. Yeah. I played, I've never played it on the uh, competitive circuit, unfortunately, so this is probably meaningless. But from what I've seen of, of how people have played Apex today, the ways I would take them on, honestly, four-man pushes are what I've seen yeah. take Apex off their foot the most. So if you can get some angle fire going on as well as a push, yeah. Apex tend to panic, they tend to displace, and you can pick them off one by one. You cannot take this team on any other way yeah, yeah. when you're in this situation. I mean, we're talking about uh, lancers and uh, rifles overall being very powerful, but uh, people, uh, they should stop underestimating the shotgun, because the shotgun is also very powerful in this game. Uh, it can four point you from miles away. It's, um, you know, it's just overall play. Um, I've seen a lot of teams do four-man pushes and whatnot, and... Um, I think uh, I was speaking to Loco before. Loco was saying that amateur teams are doing it, but I've seen a lot of teams here do it. Uh, and there's uh, people saying the stream, three lance angles equals not moving. Well, that's not true when you have uh, basically things like ink grenade, as we're seeing with reaction. Oh, Craig's getting a kill. Oh, Gandhi getting the kill as well. Oh, okay, we got a 4 Everyone's getting punished here for trying something. Reaction's going to have to try and push with was. this ink right now. Uh, the mana rule is on though, so they might be looking for a timeout. The mana rule is not on. It's not on? No, so the way we're playing the mana rule is uh, the first time oh, it yeah, happens, yeah. it doesn't count. The second time it happens, it doesn't count. The third time it happens, then we that, start then, counting Then we start to come out. Okay. Yeah, so the okay. way we're doing that is to discourage teams to play for easy rounds. Um, and then if it keeps going, it's just to get the thing moving. Um, okay. We've yet to see any stalemate situation count. Um, so we basically uh, they're gonna yeah we we basically made it so that we so can, yeah they're gonna they're gonna uh, try and stalemate technically, well, yeah, I mean, technically stalemate yeah yeah, yeah I mean Apex are down to one man and they reaction has to uh, yeah they're gonna really try and push reaction now but uh, he's just gonna wait there. yeah, yeah so, it's, it's a stalemate so just a reminder to those of uh, you out in the stream um, still two nil still two yeah nil. yeah it's still two nil that round did not count so. Uh, so we've seen a good push from Giggle, Gandhi unfortunately Cruz. that was something that we weren't able to do, that was the plan, but um, unfortunately we were, we were not able to do that. Um, we were concerned that every second counted and, yeah. and having the team come to roll out at a certain time um, from all the uh, scrims and stuff that I've run yeah. um, as a commentator or as a um, someone captain. Um, you know, you always think like you can accidentally skip it, skip it on purpose or even when it's regulated, yeah. you know, you have the issue where... Oh, he's going to go down right now. Oh. There we go. There Reaction punishing down. Brazil after putting a ton of Lancer into it. And a team bag right there. 
Apex still having that I think cockiness. Imperial, Imperial running the same struts every round. They're doing three man. Uh, well, this is something we saw earlier that yeah. Imperial do is that they do stick to the same strategy every time, keep it range, and they, they have taken range, out yeah. two members now of Apex. Just the second a round where they've reduced uh, Apex's numbers quite significantly, and we have got a two v two now. Yeah. Um, it looks like we've got two high for Apex. Uh, as, oh, sorry, one high I think for Apex as for that uh, reaction runs yeah. down. So he will grab Digger, which could make a critical difference, yeah. but I have noticed at EGL London that it hasn't been the same kind of critical weapon that we've seen uh, no. before. Uh, generally, people think it's not as good as other power weapons. Mm. Um, there was a guy on the French team uh, uh, from our damage, I think it's called Dark Track, who's very good at Digger. Uh, uh, a lot of people say he's the best at Digger. Overall. There was some really impressive play from the French teams earlier yeah. that we streamed on the Losers Bracket uh, semi-finals as well. Amazing, amazing shots that strange You know, that's a waste of a digger. Always yeah. a waste of a digger. You know, it did take some pressure off him, but you know, you've got three diggers and now none oh, of those. Get the sniper now. The tree. So, um, you know, they have grabbed that so sniper and it has forced oh. him back down the stairs. But honestly, it's not really doing them much benefit. And that's one of the things I've seen at EGL London is it's not even really been used to displace teams. It's actually just been used generally thrown out there. So, yeah. I've kind of seen the digger wasted a lot, and it's interesting to see how it's kind of adapting to. Uh, Competitive play yeah. um, as we, uh, you know. Yeah, usually it's just made for this. pushers overall. Yeah. Um, people don't really uh, look for kills when using it. But that's, it's, you know, that is great. I mean, that's yeah. why we put it on the competitive circuit. But, you know, I haven't even seen it used that much in that purpose either. So um, it's been interesting to see because I thought the digger was going to be the king of moving people out of cover and yeah, forcing yeah, these situations to not happen. And it's really not. It's, uh, you know, you you really have to know where to place it. Yeah, it is quite easy to avoid overall. Uh, reaction, trying to write something. Yeah. Uh, the bell. So I think it's going to go up. Okay. So uh, we're just uh, hoping we're going to see some action here. Uh, Reese has picked up the ink grenade, uh, which we did see a triple with yeah. on Flashboy, which oh, yeah, is pretty definitely. impressive. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, to finish the uh, to get the guys through to the, the uh, losers bracket finals. Yeah. That was a very good match uh, between Tempest's team and uh, our damage, the French team. So we are just waiting for something to happen here. Like you oh. said, guys, in the stream, it is a very campy game right now. Uh, this is uh, unusual for Apex. I haven't seen Yeah, I've camp. seen them very, very aggressive. Now, as, again, this is something I don't understand with Apex, is they can afford to take risks, you know. Um, you kind of expect it from Imperial. I'd prefer yeah. they didn't. Yeah. But at least you can expect it from Imperial. Apex just... Seemingly not wanting to take any risks, and you know, I think honestly, I hope this doesn't be create our first uh, hit count in the match. Yeah, I really uh, hope the night isn't. because you know, one more stalemate oh. after this one, if there is a stalemate right now, very and close we'll be right counting. So the crowd here getting exceedingly bored. I think bored Apex with are kind of used to the play style of the at the moment. Yeah, so we do. Generally making pushes is just going to get lanterned down. That's what a lot of people are going to think. Anyway. Okay. So it seems that Imperial is split up at the moment on both sides of the map. It really does. Um, but I think that's a case yeah, of getting one as far away from that. Uh, we actually taking a 1v1. There you go. And this is something that I'm bored of seeing. I'm bored of seeing pushes in the last oh, 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. You know, if you're going to make a push, why did you not do this a minute in so you have a chance to take the round? I've and seen yeah. so many teams... There's always a chance that you might get killed as well. Yeah, exactly, and there's yeah. There've been so many teams I've seen get a numerical yeah. advantage. Yeah be one kill away from finishing it off and not get to do it because there's only been 20 seconds on the clock. When so it's still 2-0? Head, head count now, yeah. So head count rules are in effect now. So the next time we do get a man rule, yeah. uh, we are going to be counting it, unfortunately. We are going with the same strategy. Fitzer with a kill, Reese with a kill as well. Double meat shield. Thankfully, Brazil it doesn't look like that's going to matter as reaction Ape. finishes and Imperial no, no. gets wiped. Oh, and uh, we see a 3-0. 3-0. 3-0 up for uh, Apex right now. Don't forget that Imperial is coming from the losers, so they have to be uh, Apex twice. Yeah, so yeah. they are going to, if they lose this map, they will actually go four maps down. That's a mountain to climb. Yeah, that's a big yeah. mountain. Considering that you got, they got 3 0 before, it's, they've got quite an achievement to do. Indeed. So we're back on board with reactions, obviously. He's the only guy we can... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Back on board with the same guy we've been watching love, the whole game. Yeah, Imperial's been on twice. So it looks like we've got a smoke push. He's going to grab that ink. I've never seen the ink used for any uh, kind of 
yeah. game yet. Yeah. So it's interesting to see them always want to lock down that ink grenade. The stun is more useful the, than the, the stun. Actual, uh, yeah, the stun is ridiculous on the ink because you can get multiple people with it. It's and that's what I like about EJL's rule set is you know they've turned it into quite a critical power stun, weapon. Yeah. It is useful there to cut off that uh, church entrance yeah. and guarantee the digger. And uh, I'm guessing the guys up top are going to st stop him, so uh, pushing him on that left door, which they do yeah, because he'd yeah. get crossed. So a smart play with Apex. Map control right now for, for a Team Apex. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, we have some Imperial fanboys in the stream. I would personally like to see Imperial, uh, you know, kind right, of come back. So we, we have here, Apex have the high ground. Yeah. They have three rounds in hand. They have the sniper rifle, they yeah. have the digger launcher, and they've used up the ink, so the ink's got at least a minute and a half yeah. still left to spawn. I think people think it's pretty much over. Not only that, where's the push? Exactly. They, like you said, digger is a good displacement we weapon. Where is this push? They've got two guys on the left here, they've got one guy at Bells. If they can push those two guys on the left to force them to Bells and send another digger towards Bells, yeah, exactly, yeah. they have a chance to push. And I want to see that. I want to see that. We, I, I, we, we, we all want to see it, man. We are watching the grand final here. <laughs> I don't, think, um, maybe I don't think. I don't think I don't play competitive. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> maybe yeah. also because I can't aim for crap or something. But maybe uh, they're looking to pick one person off and just head up. Yeah, definitely. But um, you know, this is what this is what this is what you guys have done, and you know, you you guys are right, tuned for action. I'm hoping to see some action. Uh, so uh, a local got the grand China finals. Local got us. Local got in um in, on balcony with sniper. Uh, reaction looking for a good push. So Reaction just, just looking for just a little opening. Yeah, definitely. Maybe go around the church. Or maybe he's waiting for Inkery spawn, which is right there. No, yeah, he's not I mean, waiting even, for that. even with the long, strong lances in this game, you know, um, we like I said there, there is money on the line this match. That's something yeah. to bear in mind. But you know, with the safety net of three maps. Oh, Loco got getting a kill. Head up so it does on. look like some movement. It looks like Imperial pushed up high on yeah. Apex rather than Apex pushing. And it looks like they are trying to push high. Both of them are going to waste. Now, oh, no, now Lance are pushing him back. Unfortunately, those diggers did go to waste. They did get someone uh, down on the balcony. Yeah, but... Oh, oh someone else is down as well. Yeah, okay. he's back up. They got crossed from high. Uh, someone sniped him. Oh, there we go. Reaction, reaction with cleaning the up Brazil. Oh, and that's taken out reaction. From nowhere. Yeah. I did not know where he came from. That was a very good flank of the... So, we're just looking... And as Apex is saying, they're saying exactly what yeah. I've been saying all thing. They are three maps up. They are three rounds up. Why are they not making moves? Why are they yeah, not making moves? Yeah, they should be. You know, it, if, if this was a match, um, a critical map, they're going to have totally to make a push right this. now. The mana pool but is as on. they are saying as a team, this is the time to push. There we go. This is the time. Get, get it high, down. You know? Yeah, and, uh, get, ver get very high. This is the grand final. Yeah, and like you say, you know, so there you One's go. Down, they push, there they there go. They win. Apex taking the first map, so you can hear the hype on the main On Imperial's stage. host as well, Apex take the map, 4-0 in maps right now. Um, and you know, like you said, there are four maps in hand right now. And they had three rounds back then. It's not looking that good was for Imperial. Push. Push. It's not looking good. Exactly. The and face on Gandhi, Gandhi is uh, thinking right now. Very, <laughs> very deep thoughts. Well look, you know, what you've got to bear in mind is like, one more map and Apex are one map away the entire time. Yeah. From taking this series. Now, if that is the situation and the pressure they have to be under, that is going to yeah. be six maps in a row needed from these guys to actually yeah, yeah. win this series. It is a hell of a lot of an ask. And honestly, I would be surprised if we see a map taken by, yeah. by Imperial in this round. Yeah. Uh, they're getting the bottle of waters out, having a nice drink. Taking it cautious. So, uh, who do you think played uh, the best? Well, it played really well in that match. What? In, uh, so in that round, yeah. in that map, um, you know, for me, it would probably be Reese. You know, Reese, Reese has yeah. come out of the gate with hype. He's uh, put the pressure on, and he's actually been one of the players I've seen him take some of the risks and and be telling his team, "Look, guys, we've got a safety net, three rounds, three maps. What are we doing?" Um, and uh, it's good team talk from the guys, and yeah, I, I'm, yeah, Reese was the star of the show for that map for me. So uh, we're just waiting to get things started uh, right now. Uh, the guys are just uh, resetting up. We're switching.